Hi there, this is Eitan, and welcome to Wix Fixer. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to create triggered emails using Wix. And basically this will allow you to send out emails uh, in any situation that you want using Wix code or Velo. Um, and we're going to implement it here using a custom form. So let's get started. <music> Hi there, so here I have uh, my custom form set up and it's basically a few inputs that take first name, last name, email, a submit button, and a thanks text that kind of just shows that we submitted the form. And in a previous video, I showed how to save the information from this form as a contact in the list of contacts uh, on your Wix dashboard. Uh, and if you haven't turned on dev mode yet, so you're going to want to do that now by clicking up here and turning on dev mode. And I already have it on, so I'm just going to pop down here into the code. And here you can see the code from a previous tutorial. I'll link to it below if you want to kind of catch up. And what this code does is it saves the contact using the uh, appender create contact uh, API. Uh, and just a brief explanation. So we have uh, submit on click. And then we have the contacts info, and we uh, create the contact. After we create the contact is where this tutorial comes in, and that's where we're going to want to be sending an email to uh, the admin, to ourselves, and an email to a contact. So let me show you how that's done. First, we're going to hop over to our dashboard, go to developer tools here on the bottom left, and triggered emails. And now you're going to want to, if this is the first time you're setting this up, you might see kind of like a setup uh, intro screen that you're going to run through. Uh, but I already did that. So I'm just going to create a new triggered email. And I'm going to call this email, let's say, thanks for getting in touch. And I'm just going to have the first name. And Inside these email templates, you have the option of adding a variable. So you could either do that by clicking here and adding the variables. So let's say I'll call this one first name. Okay, and then you see it adds it like that. You can also just add it yourself uh, by writing, let's say, last name and then dollar sign, squiggly uh, braces, and uh, last name and close it. Okay, so that's also how you would write it add a variable. And let's say email and just add variable email, okay? So this is the email that we're gonna be sending um, our uh, contacts when they fill out the contact form. And we're gonna be sending a copy of this email to ourselves as well, just to keep track uh, of who filled out our form. So now that we've finished with this form, uh, we can just save and publish. And uh, after you publish the email, you'll get this kind of um, summary screen. And here there's a few important things. So first you have the email ID, and I recommend changing that to something, um, something intelligible. So contact form, okay, let's say. And here on the bottom, we have code snippets. And you'll see that you have two versions of this code snippet. One is an email for new contacts, and one is email site members, okay? So email new contacts is what we're gonna use to send an email to our um, new contact that filled out the form. And email site members is what we're gonna use to fill out, uh, to send an email, sorry, to ourselves, to the administrator. Okay, so let's start with the email site members. I'm gonna copy that over. And I'm going to, or you can just click copy over here. And I'm going to paste it right over here where we're gonna to wanna to send our email. And don't forget to take the imports and put them on top level. So imports will go right over here. Uh, and then now we need to set up our triggered email. So the first thing that we're gonna need is to get our member ID. Uh, but where can we find that? So there's a trick to find uh, your own member ID, and that is by going to uh, your databases, okay? Uh, and we're gonna wanna set up a new collection, okay? So 
actually you could just do that from right over here. Uh, so let's say I'm going to uh, Content Manager and I'm going to create a collection. Okay, and this is just going to be test. Okay, because it doesn't really matter. You can delete this collection afterwards and you can also use an existing collection if you have one. Uh, and I'm going to create this test uh, collection. And I'm just going to add an item. So I'm just going to call that item test. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to manage fields and I'm going to expose the owner. Okay, the owner is the person that created this, um, this item in the collection. And this is the member ID of the person that created the item. And in this case, it is um, me. Okay, it's the admin of the website because I'm using the editor now. So I'm going to copy that over and I'm going to paste it into my code. So let's make a new constant and let's just call this my ID. And I'm going to copy over the ID that we got from the collection. And now here, instead of enter member ID here, I can just write my ID. Okay. And now next, we just want to put the values in. Uh, so I'm going to copy this value and put it over here for the first name value. And same will go for the last name value. Oops. And you want to make sure to line it up correctly. So last name should go with last name, first name, with first name, and email uh, will go with email. And when you're done with that, you should see that all the red squiggly lines should go away and we can format our code. Okay, so now we should be done with setting up, uh, sending an email to the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish the code, publish our website, and I'm going to hop over to an incognito uh, window. And from this incognito window, I will be testing out our form. So let's just use Jim Halpert and I'm going to use the email Jim Halpert at gmail.com and I'm going to submit our form. Now I'm going to hop over to the email address that is uh, currently the system email address and you can see that I just got this thanks for getting in touch and Jim Halpert. So anytime anybody fills out my contact form, I will be getting an email like this. Now that we completed uh, the first step, let's hop back to our editor and we will be implementing the second step, which is to send an email to the contact. Okay. And we can do that by going over to our um, developer tools and triggered emails. And I'm going to be using this thanks for getting in touch um, template again. And uh, what I can do here is just click, um, sorry, actually, well, you could do it in several ways. You could publish it again, and then you'll go back to this uh, code snippet that we're using. And if you remember last time we used the email site members code snippet, this time we're going to be using email new contacts code snippet. And you know, if you want to get really advanced, you can set up two separate triggered emails, one for the system and one for the uh, contact themselves. Um, but here for simplicity's sake, I'll just be sending the same email out to both. Um, so I'm going to copy the code over here into send email uh, to contact. And since we already imported triggered emails on the top, I'm just going to erase this piece of the code. Okay. And now what we need is the contact ID. And the way we're going to get this contact ID is using this resolved contact. Okay, so here instead of contact ID, I'm going to be using resolved contact dot contact ID. Okay, so this should be the contact ID of the newly created contact. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to be entering uh, the same information that we had um, in the previous email. So first name will go over here and email will go over here. And 
and last name will go over here. And now all the squiggly lines are gone. And uh, what I didn't show you last time is setting up this um, error handling. Okay, so uh, basically you can add two uh, chain functions after this uh, triggered emails function is executed. And one of them is then, so this will happen if the email is sent successfully. And this is catch, which will do something if we have an error. Um, so I'm gonna copy this code over and I'm gonna put it also right under here just so we can handle errors for um, our second triggered email as well. Okay, so now we have two things set up. We have sending email to the admin and we have sending an email to the contact. So I'm going to publish this. And now that I'm done, I'm going to go back to um, our um, incognito website. I'm going to refresh. And uh, this time I'll be using my own credentials um, to fill out this form. So I'm just going to use inbound beacon and I'm going to use the email inbound beacon at gmail.com and I'm going to submit. Great, so we got the thanks. And if you look here and you inspect the code, then you should see that we got uh, email sent. And uh, here we got an error that says contact ID does not match current session contact. Okay, so we got a, uh, a new contact ID for this, um, for this email uh, address, but it doesn't match the current session contact, which is me. Um, so what we can do here is try to use um, another um, email address over here. So I'm going to use um, another email address and I am going to click submit again. And now we have email sent, email sent. Okay, so this will not work if you're trying to send uh, both emails to yourself, uh, but it will work if the person filling out the contact form is not the person who is getting the system email. Okay, so now let's just check again uh, right over here. Okay, I have another uh, email over here uh, for the um, for Inbound Beacon. So I got a system email for Inbound Beacon and I got a system email for langroups at gmail.com. And if I were to check my langroups account, then I would see that I got an email uh, to there as well. And if you don't trust me, I will leave the link to this um, web page in the description below. And you can head over and you can fill out your information here and test it. And you will see that you get an email straight to your inbox. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're gonna be having more cool videos that show you how to use lots of different Wix features uh, in the near future.